guys, the Mess of Minecraft here, and today we're going over the full 1.3 Solar Eclipse update as there will be a lot of changes and this will be covering every single thing you need to know about the Solar Eclipse in 1.3. In this guide I will be going over every single possible weapon that you can get, also the 15 enemies that can spawn during the Solar Eclipse. This first new mob I will be going over is called the Butcher. It can drop a Butcher's Chainsaw, which is a new melee weapon, and it also drops a banner after you kill 50. The second new enemy is called the Creature of the Deep. Now, it drops a Neptune Shell, so no, it is no longer craftable. It also drops a banner after you kill 50. The third new enemy is called Dr. Manfly. He is basically a giant fly. He can drop the Toxic Class, a new magic weapon, and a ba banner after you kill 50. The fourth enemy is called the Psycho. He drops another melee weapon called the Psycho Knife, and he also drops the Psycho Banner after you kill 50. The fifth new mob is called the Nail Head. He can drop the Nail Gun, a new ranged weapon, as well with nails if the gun drops and of course a banner after you kill 50. The sixth new enemy is called the Deadly Spear and he can drop a summoning weapon called the Deadly Spear Staff as well as a banner after you kill 50. The seventh new enemy is called Mothron. He has a chance to drop the Eye of Cthulhu Yo-Yo which does around 100 damage, a new pair of Mothron wings, a broken hero sword and as well also a banner after kill 50. You can still find the older enemies, they still naturally spawn and um, of, course, of course you get a few new ones as well called the Possessed, Fritz and Baby Mothron. Baby Mothron does not drop anything so it, it can be quite deadly but yeah just don't bother with that one. Fritz, well he can drop a banner as well as the Possessed and you have the same drops for the rest of your um, prior 1.3 enemies except the Reaper who can now who now has a higher chance to drop his death sickle. Also I just have to mention that you, to find some of these enemies you have to fulfill some different criterias. So the default enemies are Frankenstein, Vampire, Eyesore, Swamp Thing, Fritz, Creature of the Deep and the Possessed. And you need to defeat the mechanical bosses in order to find a reaper, the baby Mothron, or Mothron. And finally, you have to defeat Plantera to find a Dr. Manfly, Nailhead, Psycho, Pig Butcher, and Deadly Spears. But now I will cover all the weapons and items that can be dropped from the Solar Eclipse. The Butcher's Chainsaw can be used as an axe as well, but it also does 120 melee damage. The Deadly Spear Staff deals 50 summon damage, and the, the, more, the more summons you can have, the more minions, the more damage it will deal. The Toxic Flask deals 42 magic damage. The Eye of Cthulhu Yo-Yo deals 115 melee damage and can be increased with any Yo-Yo accessories. The Nail Gun deals 85 range damage and the Nails deal 30 damage. The Psycho Knife deals 70 damage and it allows you to enter stealth mode similar to when you're wearing the Shroomite armor. And finally the Death Sickle deals 57 melee damage and well you probably know this one from 1.2 and it also shoots projectiles that can go through blocks.
Now, if you've played um, Terraria in 1.2 updates, you'll know the Solar Eclipse has a 1 in 20% chance to spawn every day. But, in the 1.3 update, there's this new summoning item called the Solar Tablet, which is crafted from 3 to 6 solar fragments. I'll put the actual number on screen. And they, they can be obtained from the Lizard Temple, and they drop off all the mobs. So, there's a great way to farm any, any items you need from the Solar Eclipse. And that just about covers the 1.3 solo clips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in this video if it was helpful. And there will also be other guides, like with the newer features. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.